Well, I got I got my first guide dog when I was seventeen, um, and it was a big responsibility to suddenly. It's it's almost like you become a mum when you when you take on a a, a dog yourself. Um, and she taught me a hell of a lot. She she made me grow up for a start, like to have to look after her and to to provide you know care and feed her and take her for walks she 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 made me grow up and she also gave me the confidence of I I got Libby um in order to to give me the confidence to move away from home to go to university so so I grew up in Liverpool I was born in Liverpool and I went to Birmingham University and I don't think I'd have had the confidence to do that without having her kind of with me um from from a you know being my eyes point of view and also as a companion like she she wasn't just my guide dog she was my best friend um and I quite often joke with because um I've got I'm on I'm, we had to retire Libby just after Rio and um I got my second dog and they're they're two very different dogs um and they were both suited for me at the right time so now I almost I, I looked at Libby like Libby was my equal as a dog she she was she wasn't you know she taught me a hell of a lot and I always saw her as my equal whereas with Ty she's she my second dog she's she's far more like almost like my child my baby like I I just because I'm I'm more capable of that now um but yeah Libby was I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have gone in you know had the confidence to go to uni like you say and then from university I moved up to Manchester to to base myself here for the velodrome and train and that and without her kind of there and her her sort of calm and level-headed dogginess that that got me through um yeah I, I don't think we would I would be here. So you and Libby went through a lot together as you've said you you've created a very formidable team <laughs> How accepting would you say Libby was of others coming into that team? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, no, she she definitely definitely didn't didn't take very kindly to Neil. Um, she came first, and in in Libby's head, she always came first. Um, she used to do things like when I I'd go to meet Neil. I I was still at Birmingham for my final year at uni when I started cycling and and met Neil so we'd I'd come up to Manchester to meet him and we'd get into Piccadilly train station and I'd get off the train she'd look down the platform and you she'd she'd see Neil so she'd walk off in the other direction uh and it was deliberate oh she was um and she would do you know she would she would try and get in between us if we were sat on the sofa she she just she just did not accept Neil for a very long time um but when she did retire and because we kept her um we were able to keep her as a pet and give her the you know a a good retirement um and at, at that point he became the main walk giver so she sort of she gave in to him a little bit um, yeah, I think it was love. It may have just been that I was. I think a, it was a just control. Tool. Yeah, 